Hello to all of our community group leaders. This is our teaching series extra for Sunday morning, July 16th, 2017. And we have begun our Exodus teaching series. And it is the story of us. Um, as the Israelites went from Egyptian captivity to the Promised Land, so we're on this journey from our own lives of slavery to sin to the Promised Land of Heaven. And, and that story of Exodus really is the story of each individual follower of Jesus as we journey with God and toward God. Uh, so the Exodus event helps us understand our own journey, but the Exodus event also helps us understand Jesus, that he is the true Moses, he is the final Moses, he is our true deliverer. And I want to point out something I think is really fascinating. If you look at the template of the Exodus, uh, the Israelites started in Egypt, then they crossed through uh, the Red Sea, then they went into the desert, and then ultimately they went to the Mount of God, Mount Horeb, and received the Ten Commandments. So if you look at the early chapters of Matthew, Jesus, after he was born, went to Egypt as a refugee. And then that happened in Matthew 2. In Matthew 3, Jesus is baptized. He goes through the water. And then Matthew 4, he goes into the desert where he's tempted. Then in Matthew 5, he goes up onto the mount where he gives the message on the mount, giving kind of the new law of God. So we see just in that template of Jesus, we see him as the new Moses that brings about our liberation. So, um, so today we're going to focus on the ten plagues that convinced Pharaoh to release the, the Israelites. And the secondary accomplishment of those plagues was that the Israelites did get to go free. God liberated his people through these plagues. But the primary purpose of the plagues, and I'm going to read Exodus 7, 5. The Egyptians will know that I am the Lord when I stretch out my hand against them and bring the Israelites out from among them. The purpose of the ten plagues, again, it's important, but it's secondary, was the deliverance of the Israelites. The primary purpose was that so the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord. And all these other gods that the Egyptians trusted in were false. It was futile to trust in them. So here's the discussion question I would give for you and your community groups this week. And it, it may be worth a little bit of time just to hear each other's stories. When has there been a time where you knew the Lord was God? Maybe you felt plagued by something. Maybe it was a difficult experience. Maybe you were delivered from something. But when is a time that you knew the Lord God, He is really God? And I'm not going to trust anything or anyone else. It's false and futile to trust in those. God's really God. If I were a community group leader, what I might do is go ahead and pick out somebody in the community group who I know had experienced the reality of God's work in their life and maybe have them prepared to share first. And by their story, it would it kind of get others thinking and moving in that direction. But that could be a really good moment for your community group to talk about this and to be honest. When is a time that God was so overwhelming that you knew him to be true and real? Because he is true and real. As always, it's a privilege to serve alongside you. And if there's any way we can serve you better in the Pastor's Cut and the teaching series and providing all this information, please let us know. May God bless you and your community groups this week. Bye-bye.